Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and I decided just to include one screenshot. I've seen a few like this in the last few days, and I thought I would cover this, of people saying that they don't believe in overtraining. And in fact, there's at least a couple of big fitness YouTubers who say things like, hey, no such damn thing as overtraining. Well, that's actually not true. That's like saying there's no such thing as bone cancer. Overtraining syndrome is a medically diagnosable condition that sports physicians have to diagnose in athletes all the time. Now, the thing is, most coaches out there understand this. They understand what overtraining is. They have to believe in it because their athletes have to perform the best because if they don't, their athletes are going to lose multi-million dollar contracts. They're going to lose Olympic medals. They're going to lose Super Bowls. They're going to lose $10 million if they mess up and their athlete overtrains because they're aware that it's real and they also realize that they have to push those athletes to close to that point so that they can also adapt and be the best. They can't afford the luxury of just saying, I don't believe in it because if they take that stance, they're going to lose their job. They're going to lose their athletes because their athletes are not going to be able to perform at the professional level. They don't have that type of luxury to just decide in their head it's not real. People on YouTube do, a lot of you guys out there do because your career doesn't depend upon you actually getting this right. Well, in the professional world, they know for a fact it's real. Sports physicians who have to work with athletes know for a fact it is real and diagnosable. It has actual symptoms that you can diagnose it with. So it's a very real thing. And what people need to realize, they will say, yeah, but professional athletes, it's much harder for them to, it's hard to reach it. The average person isn't at risk of that. Well, the thing is, professional athletes generally only have to worry about their career. They don't have full-time jobs and stressors that you have that are going to elevate cortisol. They're going to tap into your recovery. They don't have to deal with those things combined with the fact that usually people who have an above average level of recovery are the people who tend to become professional athletes. They're genetically gifted in those areas. And one of those areas happens to be how well do they recover and adapt from training. And a lot of them use a lot of extra drugs to make sure that they recover, not just anabolics. I've met plenty of professional athletes who go out of their way to take sleeping drugs and everything else to make sure that they sleep 9 or 10 hours a day to make sure that they recover better than the average person. So you have to look at it in that context. So people who have normal lives, they're taking hard classes in school, they have full-time careers, are going to reach a state of overtraining much, much easier with much less volume than a professional athlete will. So you need to understand that difference. So this idea that it's not real or that you can't reach it is simply not true. You can't base that upon professional athletes who are genetically gifted, don't have jobs, who are on plenty of drugs, and who maybe are at the peak of their age. As you guys start to get a little older, you start getting into your late 20s, early 30s, get closer to 40, you guys are going to find very, very quickly that overtraining is very much a real thing, particularly when you have a full-time job or stressors of any type that can contribute to it or any sort of medical conditions that might impede your recovery. You're going to find out very quickly how real it is when you try to emulate what a lot of these YouTubers are telling you guys to do in terms of pushing yourself all the time. It's a little different for you younger guys who are 18 or 19, you're at the peak of your physical condition, maybe your only stressor that you have to worry about is some college classes, then yeah, it's going to seem like you can just keep pushing and keep pushing and not reach that state. But you're going to find out eventually the real world will catch up to you. And you're going to find out that overtraining is very much a real thing. It can happen. It does happen. And it's something that you need to be aware of. You can't have this fantasy in your mind that it's not real just because someone on YouTube told you it wasn't. Go do some digging and research and every coach of professional athletes in the world and every sports physician in the world whose actual job depends on getting this right will tell you that it is very much a real thing. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative and I will talk to you guys next time.